Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, July 23rd. Uh, welcome to, to the cows who are wandering by and grazing. I want to continue talking a little bit what we talked about last night, about why people were so upset with the Bible and with Christians. Because the Bible holds us accountable. But here's a reality. Everyone has a standard. Whether you're Christian or not, whether you, whatever belief you have, whether you don't believe in any God or any standard, that itself is a standard. And people are hurting because they can't live up to the standard they've set for themselves. Even if it's no standard, they condemn themselves. Listen to what Paul says at the beginning in Romans 2. You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself because you who pass judgment do the same things. See what Paul is saying here is, everyone has a problem. Everyone has a set of standards that they live by. Even if they're crazy standards, even if they're totally lawless, everyone has some law that they hold somebody else accountable to. And if you don't obey, their standard, they become angry with you in some way, in some fashion. The little, little guy just came around there and some cows, calves recently born. It's really cool. We all have some standards. That's what Paul is telling us. So it's not just Christians who think a certain way or believe a certain code. We all have a kind of code that we live by. That may be crazy. It may be, inc it may be something that says, I can do whatever I want. That itself is a code. People may be, up, may be upset with Christians because we believe in marriage. But then they will have some kind of code of relationship for themselves, which they will violate. They won't be consistent to what they say they believe. Listen again. You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge the other, I don't like what you're doing because it doesn't fit what I do. We wind up doing the, you wind up doing the same thing yourself, for you're condemning yourself because you, you who pass judgment do the same things. Someone says, don't, don't get in my space, but then you wind up getting in someone else's space. Someone says, I can have whatever kind of relationship I want, but then they violate their idea of what that relationship should be. Someone says, you can't, you can't live by following some God and obeying him and keeping his laws because that offends me. But then they turn around and are angry with themselves and they can't keep what they say they believe. That's the problem with humans. We create a standard, and then we get upset when somebody else doesn't follow it, but then we are inconsistent with it. In a sense, we're all hypocrites. Why does this matter? It matters because in whatever system, whatever else somebody's going to create, whatever standard that they bring forth, they bring judgment on themselves because they can't keep that standard. They fail at some point just as we fail to keep the Word of God. What's the difference? The difference is that you and I have a Savior. But people who are their own law, who write their own standard, they have no Savior. There is no one to rescue them. 
for when they fail and do the wrong thing. So you see, it's not just that we, as Christians, who believe the Bible, have some rigid rules that we can't break. No, it's the other way around. <clears throat> All these folks who don't like God, who try and throw off his law, who try and live the way that they want to live, they are inconsistent within themselves, but they have no savior. See, this gives us a beautiful way to appeal to people. They are struggling because they can't keep the laws that they think are appropriate. To see the tension here and the wonderful opportunity that we have to present Christ who frees us from self-tyranny, from laws that we try and keep and break, from our inconsistencies, from our hypocrisy. Jesus knows all of that. He's the one who's not a hypocrite. He's the one who came to rescue you and me from not only breaking God's laws, but from being inconsistent with what we think is right. Because that's a sin as well. Because if we replace God's law with my law, that's also failing God and breaking the sin. Being a sin. So yes, we all have a standard. Every single one of us. But, as God's people, we can point to Jesus. And we can understand the burden that other people feel. Because they are breaking whatever commandments they think they've had in place for themselves, no matter how few or how many they are. Some people have way more commandments than we do. They still break them. Some people almost have none. They still break it. And they are in desperate need of a Savior. So we have a point of contact, even with the things that we're criticized for, for believing the Bible. We have a point of contact with them because Jesus rescues us from our own failures, from our own hypocrisy. No one else offers that. Think about that. Give us some thought. Get back to me. This is a precious opportunity that we have. Everyone has a standard. Only those who are God's people have a Savior. Thanks so much for being here. Love your thoughts and feedback. Thank you so much for your care and support. And, uh, Lord willing, We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.